How's it going rednecks? Today we are going to be working on the mud mower and I'm hoping to lift it in the front as well as widen it and I'm hoping to achieve that by uh, replacing my knuckles. Now right now I have a cast front axle and if you take a look I took one of the knuckles off of it and I set it right here. This is the knuckle from the cast. This is a stamped front axle. Now if you take a look at the stamped front axle knuckle it is wider. The area or the distance from the angle to this backing plate is a lot longer so that's going to widen it. And then if we take a look at where our steer plates are, let me get them lined up, you'll see that that is longer. So what I'm hoping to do is to easily, I say easily because I don't know if I'm going to have to drill anything or do anything, but I'm hoping to take them out of this stamp knuckle, throw them in the cast knuckle, and everything should hopefully line up and I will have a lifted and widened mower with that simple modification. So now I don't know if this is going to be possible. So you guys are going to join along in uh, whether this is going to work or not. But I'm going to start out by measuring the width of both axles and then we're going to go from there. With the steering removed from the cast front end and laid here next to the stamped, I took measurements and from the looks of it, they are one inch off of each other. So I measured from this plate right here, from this side of the plate to this side of the plate on both of them. And the stamped one is 27 inches and the cast one is 26. So my mower is actually one inch shorter or narrower. And then I did a measurement from the outside of here to the outside of there, and the stamped one is 22 and a half inches, where the cast one is 23 and a half. So these are exactly one inch off of each other. So what I ended up doing is I left a blank spot right here for our new setup, and we're gonna see what the knuckles from our stamped ones will do on our cast one. So let's get these things removed and get them put on there. So you can see when you take the uh, stamped arms and put them into the cast front axle, if you were to put that clip in, look at all the play you would have. Now I already knew this was going to be an issue because obviously like I uh, shown before, these are taller. And the way I'm going to remedy that, and there's probably a few different ways you can do it, but the way I'm going to do it because I'm on a budget, I'm going to take this. This is a three quarter inch gas pipe coupler. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew it. Then you can take both ends, you can get rid of the middle piece right here. And these ends right here are actually the same height if you take a look. They're the same height across. So you're going to use one piece on one side and one piece on the other. And how I'm going to do that is if you take a look, I'm going to take it and I'm going to put the hex side down so it rides on the uh, bushing. There's a little washer I guess right there so it puts weight on that. And if we slide it in now, when that bottoms out, we'll have room for our washer and clip. So that washer and clip right there are going to go on top and we will have no more play. And that's how I plan on taking up all the slack. So I put the uh, steering shaft that goes from the steering rack and pinion, I guess you'd call it, to the outer tie rod, or I guess the spindle, and we're going to have to shorten that. When I have the uh, wheel straight, or uh, straight forward, it is slightly turned to the left. So unfortunately, we're going to have to narrow that, but before I do the steering from side to side, I wanted to show you the options between the two. So this bar right here is the bar from the cast one and that one has little ball joints on it on both uh, ends and it's adjustable 
side to side. The steering arm for the stamp steel is a solid bar with a cotter pin going through it on both ends and is not adjustable. But if you take a look, if I straighten these two out, either one can be used for this application because they are both the same length. So I'm obviously going to go with this one because it's the uh, stronger of the two, I would assume. So what do you say we get this thing put on there and see uh, how much adjustment we got to make to both ends to get the uh, toe right. Well, considering what we just did, that's actually pretty impressive. If you take a look, I have this one kind of square. Let's see here. It's got to go back just a little bit. That's probably about square. And if you come to the other side, we are slightly towed out. So that's pretty close considering we just swapped the whole front spindles out with another one. So... There is going to have to be some adjustment made here. That's not that big of a deal. I'll do that later. What I first want to do is I want to get these tires on and see what this thing looks like. So. Well, with the old cast knuckles out and the stamped ones in and the uh, tires all on this thing, it is looking pretty good. Now, if we take a look, this is our uh, original numbers right here. This is the uh, cast. And then if we go down, this is our uh, stamped. Now, our new axle is 23 and a half inches uh, wide, and that's because we never changed that part of it. But with the knuckles on it, it is 28 and a half inches wide. Now, coming from 26, that will make it two and a half inches wider. Now, not only that, but we are also an inch and a half taller. Now, that ain't too bad. For just switching these out and getting a two and a half inches width out of this thing, plus getting an inch and a half of lift, that's going to be worth it. Now, for anybody that wants to do this a little more professionally, this shaft size is uh, three quarters of an inch, and then the uh, gas pipe that I put in here was one inch tall. So you could definitely do this a little bit more professionally, but with what I'm uh, budgeted to, I can't, so that's going to have to do, and I think it'll be just fine. What do you say we uh, start looking at the front and seeing what we got to do to get the uh, wheels pointed straight? So this could have gone the easy way or the hard way, and uh, luck would have it. It went the easy way. My uh, steering, if we come underneath here, this is the rack and pinion right here. And if you take a look, there's more gear on this side than there is on this side over here. So what I need to do is I need to take this bar right here, cut a slice out of it, then I'll go up here, I'll straighten my wheel out, see the difference between the uh, two bars as they pass each other, and then cut that amount off and re-weld it back together. So. This should be a pretty easy fix. Alright, with the uh, wheel straight and this wheel straight, we can uh, find out how much we need to cut out of that bar. And then later on, we're going to have to get the toe out of that wheel using the uh, bar going across. So, if you come underneath here and take a look, that is our cut bar right there. And if we line the two up, we need to remove half an inch. I already took my uh, tape measure there and measured that distance. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to unbolt it from there. I'm going to take this piece, throw it in my vise, cut half an inch off of it. And then I'm going to grind both ends down to a taper so I can get a good weld all the way around. And then I'm going to weld them back together.
Man oh man rednecks, this thing's looking pretty good. The front end is definitely a lot better now that it's got that uh, one and a half inch more clearance and the width will help with some of the speed. As you see I put the uh, brush guard back on it and who couldn't miss it? That's right, I ordered some 27 inch tires and they came just in time because this weekend I'm going to be taking this thing to Muskegon to do a mud run event like I said in the other video so yeah this is awesome with that being said the only part that i didn't think you'd have to reuse was that uh, tie rod bar i would use this one because you do need to make adjustments out of it i figured that had to be said but other than that hopefully you guys enjoyed the video like comment share subscribe and get back to work You all right? <laughs> you all right, dude? Huh? I said not really.